In this episode, the slash backflips and crashes and breaks and AS Steve has some valuable input. <laughs> Alright guys, how are you doing? The other day when we was up the BMX track, destroying the TRX4, I also took the slash 4x4. Um, that kind of got destroyed a little bit as well, look. Didn't even give it that much of a beating, it literally lasted a couple of jumps, didn't even land that hard and snapped both back wheels off. But it has taken a good beating before that, so I can't really knock it. So, alright guys, watch the video, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so we got the slash four before here, four S to start with. Let's see what it makes of this BMX track. Oh, and we got the Hyper ST, but it's wearing an ECX Torment body shell. Oh yeah, Steve just aired it out, but we missed it. Oh, hey, backflip. That was actually well easy. Cogging man, it makes it hard. It's in the air and I floor it and then it just cuts out. Oh. Where do you think it's gonna land? I don't know. Oh. Oh. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 A good job I've got new ones of them coming. Just snap that axle clean off. Boom. Boom! Alright, well, that's the end of that. Oh, oh, that oh. oh. oh both sides! Oh, what? Look, done both sides! Oh my god! Uh -uh. <laughs> Where's the other one gone? Oh, I don't know. It's down. Oh, there! Oh! Here he is! What happened? I broke it! <laughs> oh my god, how can it break both wheels off? Oh, that one actually. That's got all the gubbins missing. But it still snapped it. It snapped in a different place. What did you do? I don't know, man. What happened? You're really naughty. <laughs> oh well, get the corner out. Killed it! Ow! In the face! <laughs> oh! On me balls! <laughs> I ripped off me balls! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Uh oh! Uh. Oh, that one's hanging off. Hey! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! Nearly, nearly on the Chevy. Uh oh! Hang on, a bit of recovery action. That's bloody fast on six S, isn't it? <laughs> That's not too bad in reverse on six, eh? Got in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's only trouble with short courses, isn't it? All that mess goes straight inside. Yeah, proper dirty. <laughs> what was that? Proper dirty. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I've had a box of spares turn up. In there are a set of heavy duty drive shafts for the slash. A lot of you guys have actually said that these suck and they bend really easily. So hopefully that's not the case. If they are, I'm gonna try the MIPs. A few more bits and bobs in here. Mainly to fix the TRX4. I've got a battery strap actually for this, so I can run thicker batteries. Also, brand new TRX4, because this one got quite slaughtered, so I'm gonna have one bad one and one good one. I'm not really a fan of this body, what this one comes with, but that's all they had, so that's what I'm gonna run with for now. But I'm gonna change the wheels and the body show anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And as an added bonus, this one was a little bit cheaper. All right, let's get these shafts fitted onto this slash. All right, so here's the old shaft. And as you can see, that's where the bit snapped off on the end here, look. That's that bit there. And hopefully these are gonna be made of better metal. I mean, they do really look really well made. I do like the look of them. I hope that if you split these boots, you can actually buy spare parts. Because that would kind of suck if you can't, you gotta buy the whole shaft. So I got it all fixed, new shafts are in, just tested it out and it all seems to work but it seems to be cutting out a little bit sometimes. It's, it's a bit hard to see on the camera but watch. So when, when you do the brakes and then accelerate again it sort of clonks and, and sort of hesitates a bit and then it goes. So if you just... See like that, it's pretty good. It's quite hard to sort of explain. Hold on, let me let me put it in the workshop. So I don't know. I think it's a bit hard to see on camera, but I don't know what it could be. Um, I don't think it's these wires that are wobbling because I've moved them about. And that's not made any difference at all, and it only seems to do it if you hit the brakes and then accelerate straight after. So I don't think it's anything to do with the wiring. So I don't know if it's something to do with the setting inside the ESC or, or what the hell it is, I don't know. So any of you guys had that and had a solution for it, let me know in the comments. All right guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button so you stay notified. See you soon guys.